Hi, my name is Dr. Wu Di Wu. I am a professor, a CEO, and a poet. My presentation is Business Strategy from Miyamoto Musashi's The Book of Five Rings. Miyamoto Musashi was a Japanese samurai. He wrote a book called The Book of Five Rings, used for uh, sword fighting strategy. And in the business world, has been adopted many, many times and in many, many areas for setting up business strategy. The first picture shows Miyamoto Musashi when he was young. The second picture shows Miyamoto Musashi statue um, with his holding up two hands of sword. That is famous two sword technique. At that time, uh, like all the other samurais, they are using two hands to hold up one sword, although they are carrying two swords with them. The third, third one showing Miyamoto Musashi change his weapons from the two sword to an oar, the one who used to row a boat to surprise his uh, opponents. The top picture shows a damo, that's a drawing from Miyamoto Musashi, that's his uh, belief, Zen belief. At the bottom, that was written in Japanese, that was Miyamoto Musashi's uh, book, very first uh, page of his book, the book of five rings. Table of contents. In this presentation, Dr. Woody Wu will show his two models. One is Wu's EMBA model. The other one is Wu's mark strategy. He will also show the nine principles he learned from the Book of Five Rings, as well as the five lessons he learned from the Book of Five Rings. He's going to conclude this presentation with five haikus he wrote to reflect in his understanding of Miyamoto Musashi's The Book of Five Rings. The Book of Five Rings have five chapters, that's five rings, and five components, one component for each chapter. That's earth, water, fire, wind, and emptiness. Basically, in this book, he teach others how to do a strategy uh, in sword fighting uh, with chapter one, two, three, and four uh, analogy using uh, war, earth, water, fire, and wind. The very last chapter, emptiness, he want the learner to forget what they have learn from him and be emptiness. Emptiness is a status because we are facing the situations. You can say the previous chapter one, two, three, four were his experience that may most likely repeat. But facing a totally new situation, the past four um, chapters strategy may not be useful. So that's why he asked his readers to have an open mind or emptiness to be prepared for something totally new. Then you need to come up with a totally new business strategy. Summary, Miyamoto Musashi. Year 1584 to 1645. The Book of Five Rings with nine principles. Number one, think honestly 
and rationally. It's not easy. Uh, CEO, COO, CFO, they are only human. I mean, they can be emotionally or they can be think what they want to think or like to happen. So they may lie to themselves. Number two, practice to understand the way it should be. The way it should be is a Zen idea called Tao. That's um, a term maybe uh, more close to this Tao concept or idea is the persistency. Every time you do it perfectly, and that's persistency. Number three, learn different skills or arts. For example, if you are responsible for the new iPhone, you said that I know phone, uh, you may not want to know other functions. For example, there are many, many people, especially young generation using a iPhone to play games. How much do you know about the gaming? And also, uh, the mobile phone is connecting uh, all to the uh, platform as an educational tool. How much uh, would you know about the online learning environment? So a mobile phone, if you are responsible for a mobile phone, you probably need to know many, many different fields. Number four, know the way it should be for all professions. Number five, differentiate gains from losses for all things. A CEO may want to generate uh, short-term profit and long-term profit. Would you sacrifice short-term profit for long-term profit? Develop intuition and an understanding for all things. Something new comes that's new to everyone. Uh, that's nothing to be rational. Um, that's if you have intuition, you can see the things you cannot see. That's very, very important. See what you can see with your eyes. That's the core sense. That's based on who you are, meaning you're born with that, uh, based on your training, your experience. Pay attention to the details. Um, the details is very important, um, especially nowadays. Um, we are using product and we are using more uh, service. Uh, like you are, go to Amazon to buy something. Uh, product is one thing. Delivery is the second. Delivery person, uh, can they put down in your porch and take a picture? And how can they kind of hide it there? and to preventing other people from uh, taking away your product, maybe give you a mobile phone alert right away, then you are going to open the door and get your product. Don't walk on useless things. I have experienced too many um, management teams working on meetings, planning many, many meetings, then they don't have time to think, but we are asking them to make decisions. They make wrong decisions all the time. Five lessons Dr. Woody Wu learned from the book of Five Rings. Number one, look for opportunities and prepare for threats. That's corresponding to the Earth chapter. Number two, stay calm when making decisions and learn from past experience. That's corresponding to water chapter. Number three, know the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. That's corresponding to fire chapter. Once you check on item number one and number three, you are going to see the famous SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Number four, adjust your strategy to accommodate the change of situation. This is especially important for the past 20 years, 
the change of the technology. Like before, we don't have mobile phone. Now we have mobile phone. Lots of things can be done with mobile phone. Um, we are talking about um, e-learning. We are talking about e-commerce. Now you have physical store. You are really facing strong company, uh, competition. Number five, keep a clear and open mind. This is corresponding to the last chapter we call emptiness. Uh, Miyamoto Musashi used the first four chapters uh, teach you his uh, fighting, sword fighting strategy. Now he want you in chapter five to forget what you have learned because when you have a new situation, the past four old experience may turn out to be useless. Can you quickly coming up with a new strategy? So what he was trying to say is, yeah, I'm sharing my uh, strategy with you and I want you to be able to come up new strategy. I'm not uh, showing you the knowledge. I'm showing you the wisdom. Introduction. Showing in here the wisdom. You need to learn not the knowledge, but the wisdom. This presentation is not discussion of samurai. And it's discussion, it's not even discussion for sword fighting strategy. It's to using the sword fighting strategy, come up with business strategy. The Book of Five Rings, written by samurai Miyamoto Musashi in the year 1945. Slide five to eight, showing two Dr. Woody Wu's model. One is Wu's EMBA model. Another one is Wu's Mark strategy. Slides number nine to 17, showing nine lessons learned from the book of five rings. Slide 18 to 22, showing five lessons learned from the book of five rings and with the quote. The first cited in translation, for example, talking about opportunities also contribute to businessmen's making or losing profit. The second, the quote was in, uh, inter interpreted into a lesson. Um, in the slide, the quote interpreted into always look for opportunities and prepare for stress. Third, the lesson learned was supplemented with examples or concepts. Lastly, thoughts from the audience. This presentation encourage the audience to uh, have their input or think about it, uh, what they have heard in this presentation. This presentation ended uh, or going to be ended with a slide showing five haikus. That's corresponding to the five chapters of the book, Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, Emptiness. They are written in Japanese and translated into English by Dr. Woody Wu. Here is Dr. Woody Wu's Wu's EMBA model. Have four components, EMBA, E for environment, M for management, B for business, A for assessment. At first comes this external and internal uh, environment analysis. External, for example, technology change. When we have a new technology, we have new business opportunities, or we are going to uh, get rid of some existing business. Somebody going to gain, somebody going to lose, depends on uh, which side you are. You are in the technology side or you are against the technology. 
internal environment, organizational culture change, uh, core uh, capability change. Using the example uh, uh, Apple, once uh, called Apple Computers Incorporation, with the more and more uh, buyers for its iPhone, the name has been changed, changed to Apple Incorporation. They are not only selling computers. Management, talking about management style, situational leadership, transformational leadership, for example, uh, management style is important um, to this EMBA model. Um, management competency, decision making, conflict resolution, as two examples for your management. For example, um, if the external and internal are both fine and your uh, management skill, management style is not that good, you may survive. But once the external or internal change fast and dramatically, like a new technology comes, if you have leadership teams, we call managers or leaders, they are not that good. You are going to be in big trouble. B, business model and strategy. Business model, um, you want to do an infrastructure versus applications comparison, productive versus service comparison. Um, you may, based on external change, management style change, you are going to change from uh, providing products to providing service. Many, many companies uh, using this uh, COVID-19 pandemic as an example, providing lots of service, home delivery service. That's based on a external change that's applying to the earth, apply to everyone. We all see the business model change. You go to a shopping store before you go inside and pick up some uh, products and pay then come back. Right now, um, in addition to that, you can park outside. Um, you may use your mobile phone computers uh, to text what you want. Then just sit in there, you call the store, I'm here, the store have some person to um, move the products you want, deliver to your car, then you drive back. That's a new business model. It's not deliver to your house, it's deliver to parking lot. That's a new business model. The last one, checking for assessment, return assessment, ROI, long-term profit is important. Um, leaders should uh, looking for or shooting for not only the short-term profit, but also the long-term profit. Last one, asserts, assessment, employee performance, uh, brand name value. Uh, brand name value, we all know. One thing uh, may be overlooked is the patents. The patents cost a lot um, for a company. Wu's EMBA model was developed by Dr. Woody Wu in year 2006. Using the book of five rings as example for EMBA model. External environment at that time for Miyamoto Musashi was all the samurai carrying two swords, but only using two hands holding up one sword for fighting. Internal environment, Miyamoto Musashi, he himself practiced using two swords, uh, one hand each for swords in fighting. Management style, Musashi, Miyamoto Musashi, he practiced, uh, have a practical and visionary. He can see what other people cannot see. Uh, competency. He consistently practiced two sword style or two sword technique 
for 20 years. Uh, Japanese sword is very heavy. That's why uh, the samurai using two hands to hold up one sword and fight. Um, he, you need to have a very strong arms, right arm and left arm to hold up one sword each during the fight. This is model. Miyamoto Musashi developed his two sword technique. Business strategy. You want to see slide 8 to 23 to see the all the business strategy or fighting sword fighting strategy. Return assessment. Miyamoto Musashi never lost a fight in a duel or war. This is uh, uh, achievable by not to fight an opponent um, if you cannot win. You may not do that, then you will never lose. A third assessment, Miyamoto Musashi understood uh, the way it should be. Here are two terms. One is Satori, this is suddenly I understand. And one is the Tao, the way it should be for sword fighting at age 51. Yeah, he gradually, gradually, then suddenly he understood this is the way it should be for sword fighting. Wu's mark strategy. This is a strategy to develop a business strategy. Once we have the SWOT analysis done with strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, don't stop there. We want to move on, use this mark strategy. Because the SWOT analysis tool is to evaluate the business model. The mark strategy is to develop a business strategy. For example, strengths. How we want to modify, add, remove, or keep. Weaknesses, same idea. Opportunities, threats, same ideas. Here comes an example. With the two sword technique, Miyamoto Musashi, the strength is here, uh, what are you going to do? You modify. Instead of one sword, using two sword in the fighting. Weaknesses. If a sam samurai who lacks of confidence or skill in using two sword should not use it. That's weaknesses. Uh, or even Miyamoto Musashi, he himself, if his condition physically, mentally is not in the best situation, may not to want to use two sword at one time. Opportunities. Miyamoto Musashi learning the way it should be and have a story. He started to understand at age 51. And these two swords symbolize uh, yin and yang, or you can say that moon and the sun. The threats with the famous two sword technique when Miyamoto Musashi fight Sasaki Kojiro. Sasaki Kojiro had prepared many years to fight his uh, two sword technique. In this case, Miyamoto Musashi have really a threat. Uh, who was famous for his uh, kanata. And Sa uh, Sasaki Kojiro was famous for his very, very long sword. In this case, Miyamoto Musashi uh, totally changed. That's out of the box. He did not use his two sword. He uh, sharp a oar, and that was even longer than uh, Sasaki's uh, sword to surprise him. Now, Sasaki is out of prepare. Don't know, this is brand new to him, but for Miyamoto Musashi, he had prepared. You think he's going to use two sword? No, he's using one very, very long oar, and he has prepared how to fight a long sword with an even longer or I am preparing, you are not. 
nine principles learned from the book of five rings. Principle number one, think honestly and rationally. Don't be lying to yourself, to your employee, uh, to any of your uh, shareholders. Ethical practice is the only practice. Stephen Sample talk about don't delude yourself into thinking that people are intrinsically better or worse than they really are. Dr. Wu suggests a strategist needs to think honestly. It's only human nature. Uh, we like to hear what we like to hear, and it's only human nature. If I have been so successful four times, uh, next time, most likely, I'm going to be successful. But that's not necessarily the case. Robert Greening suggested, feel will make you overestimate the enemy and act too defensively. Overconfidence particularly as a result of success, will make you go too far. That's very, very true. Dr. Wu suggests a strategist need to think rationally. Yes, um, it's very important to do not overestimate or underestimate your competitors. Do not overestimate or underestimate you yourself. The second principle, learn, practice to understand the way it should be. This is the then uh, idea or just Lao Tzu idea, the way it should be, that's Tao. Tao, the close word is persistency. Um, you practice uh, to perfect each time and every time. That's the way it should be. I think we can all agree, right? We spend time and money to go to a restaurant. We want the quality each time and every time. NTT, that's a Japanese uh, telephone company, need to learn once change from a public phone company to a private company. Company, While it was a public phone company, it learned the way it should be as a public phone company. Now it is a private phone company. It need to learn how to be the way it should be a private phone company. Miyamoto uh, Pearl is very famous, and one time they used an, an oyster shell found in Mississippi River to come up with Pearl. That's uh, Mikimoto Pearl is in Japan, Mississippi River is in the U.S. If that's the way it should be, Yes, we're going to do it. Number three, learn different skills or arts. Kenichi Omae, he has different hobbies and spell time, interest in music, sailing, martial arts, motorcycles, and scoop diving. Um, he also select a topic such as texting and satellite communication, which he is not familiarized or is not in his area, but he study each year a totally different topic and write a book. Robert Samuel, he suggests a real work of art appeals to our highest emotion. We see things that cannot be seen 
and hear things that cannot be heard. Dr. Woody Wu says, art playing is the deep thinking status of our mind. If you can make your mind deep thinking, as a leader, you may need to make decisions in a very short period of time, and you can make your deep thinking. That is great, and it's very needed. Principle number four, know the way it should be for all professions. As I mentioned, um, a mobile phone uh, decision maker need to know not only phone, because the phone is going to be used for e-learning, for education, used for e-commerce, for shopping, um, used for as an alarm clock, wake people up, and used as a camera to take all the cam uh, photos. You probably need to know many, many different areas, all professions. Kawanishi, Tsuyoshi, um, he also doing gardening, play tennis, play Japanese chess. He stated that intuition and judgment are both needed for running an IC company. We would all agree the judgment is needed. How about intuition? Yes, that's like based on your experience, um, you come up with the core sense. It's difficult to convince other people. I feel that, <laughs> but sometimes your feeling is variable. I feel we need to do something. Um, you may want to do it. Konji Aiba, he said that uh, uh, to avoid acquisitions with unnecessary high prices. This is very true. Um, right now, uh, the business model is to, for a big company to keep merging, buy out uh, small companies. But you need to make sure if the price is too high, may not be a good idea. Dr. Woody Wu suggest a company may also need to understand the role of the bank, accounting, and attorney firms which are involved in a acquisition process. You buy a high price, not so good products. Guess what? You're going to use it, right? Uh, once you use that not so good, high price product, I mean, you're going to uh, unplease your customers and you're going to hurt your image. Principle number five. Differentiate gains from losses for all things. Toyota in March 2007 so decided they are going to uh, producing less cars due to a uh, quality problem. Once my quality got a problem, I'm going to reduce the quantity and to make sure the quality is good. So in this case, next year, GM took back the number one position in terms of total car sale. Uh, we can say that Toyota, in this case, lose the short-term profit and later on gain the long-term profit. Um, in many, many countries, especially in the US, we are asking the CEO to make profit, the stock market, the stock value, uh, each season, um, you're going to do whatever you need to do to make it happen. But um, even that may hurt your image or your long-term profit. <laughs> it's a bad, bad idea. Casillo Wehara, he said that vision management. Vision should be used to motivate employees to take responsibility and accountability to make the change. You need to have vision. Vision is a, a long-term destination you want to go to. Without this re-engineering, companies may be 
defeated by their past success. We have seen many, many companies like that. For example, Coda uh, was so successful with the uh, legacy style of camera and filming um, and was defeated by digital cameras. And another example is the Blockbuster, so successful with the face-to-face -face physical store, um, VHS um, movies, rental business, and defeated by online um, or um, lead, uh, like eventually like Netflix uh, in the cloud. Movies are in the cloud. You don't need to have physical stores. Principle number six, develop intuition and an understanding for all things. Konosuke Matsushita, and he is the fun, uh, fun, uh, founder for Matsushita Electric, which is a brand like Panasonic. And he wrote a book in 1975. He stated, um, a decision can be made with intuition and rational judgment. With rational judgment, I think we would all agree with intuition. Um, uh, for the many, many years experience, you build up uh, an intuition, which is difficult to communicate with others. In this case, um, you may still want to go with your intuition. That's pretty much like a core sense for a, for example, basketball player. I think, I feel something going to happen. Someone going to pass in the ball to me and it's very difficult to, um, uh, to describe to other peoples. Dr. Woody Wu suggests a strategist must have the intuition to sense a pro problematic or risky strategy. This is needed and this is the difficult. How many of you have seen the pandemic, COVID-19? Uh, pandemic or have prepared for that. I don't know, not me. <laughs> uh, not me, no, no. I didn't see it coming. Um, uh, Peter Drucker stated in 1996 that the three most creative countries uh, at that time were Korean companies. Taiwanese companies and German companies. That's based on his observation. And that is not based on his study, like uh, research, survey, qualitative study, quantitative study based on his uh, uh, experience. Uh, Dr. Woody Wu would say that some people may want to believe what they like things uh, to believe, uh, to be. A strategist need to believe things they are. Principle number seven, see what you cannot see with your eyes. Uh, Tatsuo Niwa, uh, he's the decision maker of uh, Mitsui and company in Japan, he stated that uh, due to that, uh, no one see or foresee the Iraq, uh, the Persian Gulf War. And in 1980, eventually the company, Mitsui and company of Japan paid Iran about 1 billion US dollars in 1989. In compensation for canceling the project, nobody's seen that. I think some people should be able to see the upcoming war in Persian Gulf because at that time, Iran and Iraq was in a deeply disagreement. In his book, Honda Kayo and wrote a comparison and contrast 
uh, between uh, Honda and Matsushita. And he stated, Honda imported a Japanese-style work environment. On the contrary, Matsushita had an American-style work um, environment. So although it looks like you see it, you say, hey, this is Japanese-style management, and that is American-style management. But deep down inside, they are pretty much similar. Dr. Woody Wu says, what we can see with our eyes is, is the work environment, not the organizational culture. You want to see the culture. Pretty much like um, if you are a leader, you want your subordinate to achieve a goal. You don't want to micromanagement. Um, you need to allow your subordinate to do in his or her way as long as that's ethical and as long as that can achieve the goal. Principle number eight, pay attention to the details. Sagawa Express, that's a delivering company like uh, our Amazon. They were using, that was uh, they were using a I mode, that NTT Docomo, that's a mobile phone, way to request a deliver notification. This was a long time ago. Today, we all have that. <laughs> and once the package is delivered, an email will be sent today, uh, maybe a text message email to the customer's mobile phone. Yes, it's still used today. Uh, someone deliver a product uh, um, to your porch. Um, you're going to receive an email. Um, they even take a picture and send it back to the company as the evidence that, uh, yes, yeah, see here, there is a product, uh, product, uh, product sitting up uh, in front of your porch. Then um, you can see it and go outside and pick it up before other people's mind pick it up for you. Dr. Woody Wu, who worked for NEC of America uh, from 1988 to 1992, observed that the managers in NEC, a Japanese company, were both technical-oriented and detail-oriented. A manager one time uh, uh, came down to the lab with Dr. Woody Wu to show, to change the codings. So they can do codings, verify patches. That's um, good and bad. Uh, depends on how you use it. Um, keep your manager still um, involved in the technical. So uh, for example, during the meeting, he know the coding. So he know the technical side and business side. That's very good. Uh, but if, it, uh, if the manager are paying too much attention to the technical side because he was a, or uh, she was a engineer before, then uh, paying not enough attention to the business side, that's a problem. Principle number nine, don't work on useless things. Um, during Dr. Woody Wu's uh, 20 plus years of the IT and business experience, he has observed too many managers um, are on too many meetings. They don't have time to think. They all make rush decisions based on the info provided by others. It's very, very bad. And many, many times they make minor or even major mistakes. Kenichi Omae. He suggested he worked for McKinsey and uh, in the US starting 1972 to 1995. Once returned to Japan, he observed and suggested avoiding, um, he liked to coin terms. <laughs> so he coined a term called nomination. He said communication. He said nomination. The Japanese business get together after work. 
Japanese companies, Kaisha Jin, uh, got a culture after work, you get together in a bar um, to have wine, to uh, talking and eating, drinking with your co-workers about business or any other stuff and go home late, walk up uh, next morning and come back to the Kaisha the company to work. Uh, according to Kenichi uh, um, Omae, that's real bad. <laughs> um, um, although he suggested that, but uh, people uh, has not been changed. Um, is this right or wrong? I'm not quite sure because um, Japan, the uh, Kaisha uh, companies have been using this kind of a uh, working style for many, many years. So far, it seems like it works, but need to be careful with the young generation. We need to keep, pay attention to the young generation may ask for work-life balance. Dr. Woody Wu worked for NEC of America and learned that um, one to suggest uh, NEC, that's a phone company basically, and used to working on computers, communications, and they have their focus called CNC, going to do computers and communications. Um, and also have five C's uh, going to focus on computers, communications, customer, um, electronics, uh, con contents, and costs. That's very good. Um, focus on its selected area. That's what we call your mission statement. Um, your uh, vision statement have to be um, in aligned with your core competence. five lessons learned. The first lesson learned is look for opportunities and prepare for stress. A quote cited from the book of Five Rings, chapter one, and translated by Dr. Woody Wu. That's the Japanese. This is a translation of English. Businessmen are always trying to make profit. That's what businessmen do. Opportunities also contribute to businessmen's making or losing profits. Lessons learned from this quote. Always look for business opportunities and prepare for stress. Opportunity, you make profit. Stress, you lose profit. Example, Ezra. Vogel, the author of the famous book, Japan as number one in 1980, point out, you know, well, we want to learn from Japan, suggested the Western world learn from Japan's success story. But something funny is 1981, another author, just one year later, John Warrenoff wrote a book, Japan's wasted workers, <laughs> just one year difference. And showing Japan suffered the bubble economy from year 1990 to year 1999, with only 1.5% yearly GDP. That's very, very low. So if we can say that uh, one see the bubble, one see the burst out of the bubble. So uh, you really want to be careful. When something's too good uh, to be true, then may turn out to be a nightmare. A nightmare. Um, Dr. Woody Wu would like to suggest uh, a product life circle. Be careful when you are too good. It's pretty much like I think everybody uh, would agree um, once the stock market is too good, always people are going to say, hey, it's going to crash. It's going to crash. <laughs> and most likely it crashed. Lesson number two, stay calm when making decisions. As I mentioned, um, many, many upper management teams, they don't 
they were so busy with meetings, they don't even have time to think. Uh, if you mention to say stay calm, it's going to be difficult. Uh, some of the managers I know, they are making decisions during meetings. <laughs> um, that's real bad. The strategy is to keep yourself calm as usual when in fighting. Learn from your past experience. I mean, you can keep calm, but can you keep calm when in fighting? Stay calm when making business decisions and learn from your past experience. Toyota has manufacturing cars and be a most profitable. Is number one in year uh, 2007. And they have adopted incre incremental improvement or called Kaisan and radical improvement. Um, that's make sure. Uh, in other words, Toyota has adopted this is a business strategy to accumulate small improvement. In this case, they are, uh, they are paying, uh, paying attention to detail. You have a Toyota car. You're not going to see many, many small problems that will really make you upset or make you mad. Yao Han. That's a supermarket chain because they need to uh, compete in with 7-Eleven in Japan. So they decided in 1971 to expand business to Brazil. That's the basic, the old business way to say that don't keep all of your eggs in one basket. Then they um, ask uh, employees to volunteer to work in Brazil. Lesson number three. Know the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. You want to know yourself. You want to know your competitors. Toshifumi Suzuki, he suggests uh, uh, saying in here, 7-Eleven um, um, in Japan was so successful. Um, year 2005, 7-Eleven Japan and its affiliates own 100 percent of 7-Eleven Incorporation uh, headquarters in Dallas. So 7-Eleven now is a Japanese company and no more a American company. Yonghan Chu, a Japanese writer who published 400 books. Whoa, how about that? Dr. Woody Wu published 17 books and he thought he himself is good. <laughs> no, comparing to 400 books, 17 books is nothing. Really, really nothing. Whoa, how about that? Mm. And he said that fulfilling customers need. Here, we always thinking about customers number one. Uh, Dr. Woody Wu would like to say that mm, maybe, maybe not. Uh, it depends. Uh, maybe employees, number one, you take care of your employees and let your employees take care of your customers. You have unhappy employees. It's not going to help you with your business, especially in the service side. Lesson number four, adjust your strategy to accommodate the change of situation. Yes, learn from Miyamoto Musashi. He lists three fights he had. The first time he arrived late and that's we really make his opponent mad. Now he's fighting with a madman. The second time he arrived earlier and hit in a tree and jumped down and attack. That's a suddenly attack. The third time he used a long sharpened oar against a long sword. So every time he either uh, made his opponent mad or surprise his opponents. Make them unprepared. If you are prepared, your opponent is unprepared. Guess who is going to win the fight? Um, Yong Han Chu, 
the one published 400 books, <laughs> he, um, he said that one may lose flexibility to accommodate to changes if he is solely relying on his past experience, learn new things. Then you probably can also publish 400 books. That's the number five. Keep a clear and open mind. Hiroaki Sato, he described and stated the final stage of any discipline is where you forget what you have learned. Yes, that's very, very important. So this book of five rings, the fifth ring is to ask you to forget about the first four rings. You, when you are facing a new situation, the past experience may not help you and may hurt you. Akio Morita and the Sony, he said that since they had different opinion, there was less chance of them making wrong decisions for the company. <laughs> In this case, the founder and the CEO, they, they're arguing. He said, hey, that's a good opinion, huh? If we all think the same, we have less opportunity to find a problem. Here are Dr. Udi Wu's five haikus. He used those five haikus to learn and to link back to Miyamoto Musashi's The Book of Five Rings. And that's five chapters. That's earth, water, fire, wind, emptiness. Earth, snow has melted. There is rain in the city. Here comes the spring. Water, the crying dog. The ocean wave with hundreds of seagulls in the dusk. Mind traveling away. Fire. My passion. The fog has disappeared. A red um, azalea flower. Wind. Night by the window. It's the cradat flower. The breeze. Emptiness. In the sky. There was a red flower falling like a dream. These five haikus on five chapters of the book, Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, and Emptiness, are written in Japanese and translated into English by Dr. Woody Wu. This is my presentation of Business Strategy from Miyamoto Musashi's The Book of Five Rings. Thank you. Bye-bye.